Hi folks, I've been wanting to do a video on the Harbor Freight 100 watt solar panel kit and also the newer Harbor Freight 100 watt solar panel. I've been looking for some information online on these two panels and, and there's information out there but I never could find exactly the answers I was looking for. So I wanted to put together a video and uh, hopefully clear up some questions answer some questions that folks may have about these. I'll show you my test set up here. This is my old deep cycle lead acid battery that I took off my camper. I replaced it with a uh, lithium iron phosphate battery. But I've got an inverter hooked to it. And we've got a couple of fans running right now. The fans are actually spinning faster than what it looks like. It's just the frame rate makes them look like they're spinning slower. And I've got my amp clamp here. We're pulling about five amps out of the battery right now. Right now I've got the 100 watt kit connected to the 10 amp charge controller that came with that kit and we're getting about 12.8 volts from the panels. I put my amp, cl amp clamp on there we're getting around almost 3.4 amps out of it right now. Um, not too bad, but not as much as you expect from a 100 watt panel. I would hope for a little more. Usually you would think you would get up around 6 to 7 amps out of one of those. It is a fairly clear day today, but it's not perfectly crisp. We do have just a little bit of haze in the sky. So that could affect it a little bit. So that's the 100 amp amorphous panel, solar panel kit. So I'm gonna disconnect it. And I apologize for the shaky camera because I am trying to connect these while I'm holding the camera. And we're gonna hook up the 100 watt panel, the monocrystalline panel. And our voltage has went up to 13.2, 13.3. Our amps have went up to 5. So we picked up around 1.6 amps from the single panel compared to the four 25 watt panels together. So more power from this newer panel. I've really been impressed with this panel for the price. I've also got a uh, jack on the side of my camper where I can plug these panels in to charge my battery. The uh, charge controller that came with the 100 watt kit is a uh, PWM or pulse width modulated charge controller. Uh, they're not the most efficient. They get the job done decently. For comparison, I'm gonna plug both of these panel setups into my camper to show the difference because I have a MPPT charge controller in there. So I'm gonna plug this in to the jack and I have mounted the other controller in my storage bay here. The problem that I didn't like anyway with the charge controller that comes with the panel kit is the panels themselves are waterproof. The charge controller isn't. So if you wanted to leave this set up overnight, then you had to find a way to shield your charge controller from getting rain down if there was a chance of rain coming. But anyway, I took care of that by mounting a charge controller inside the camper. It does have a remote display that's easier to see. I mounted inside in the closet. So if we go in here and look, we can see for that amorphous panel set, we're actually getting just a little bit less current going out to the battery. 3.2 compared to 3.3, 3.4 that we were getting with the uh, PWN charge controller. Let's go back and unplug the amorphous set. And we'll unplug the monocrystalline panel from the PWM and we'll plug it into the camper 
so it'll start charging my lithium battery go back in and it takes a few seconds for these MPP to controllers to uh, tune into the panel so you'll see we picked up about a half an amp with the monocrystalline panel using the MPP T charge controller what it does is it takes the excess panel voltage and converts it into extra current where the PWM controller won't do that so we are we are making a little more power with this charge controller they cost more but you can get more power from them so i hope this short little video clears up some confusion answers some questions about these two panel kits the uh the newer one is definitely more efficient smaller size compared to the older ones Easier to handle, easier to transport, depending on where you're going to store it at. At least these are stackable, so they don't take up a lot of space when you stack them. Uh, this one does not come with the charge controller, but you can pick up a PWM charge controller for 15, 20 bucks online. So hopefully that answered any questions you may have about these two panel kits. See you next time.